all these things laid out here today and they're all items that we feel are very important when cruising and we don't like to leave home without. Um, we take most of them on all of our cruises and we're hoping that they will be helpful to you as well. So that's why we're sharing them with you. And I have my husband Jamie here today to help. What's um, up everybody? This is Jamie from Sharon at Sea. I just want to say thank you, Sharon, for involving me in your video today as we come here almost live from this very fancy high-tech home studio, also known as the dining room, yeah. so that we can show you some of these cool items that we always bring on a cruise with us. We just have found them to come in handy over the years, and um, uh, so we just want to show them to you and hope that uh, they can uh, help you guys out. And the first thing I want to show you is actually we do have a couple new things here that we haven't used yet So I'm excited to share those with you is the grip scale. This is a, a Portable kind of luggage scale and it's still in the box because we just got it in the mail a couple days ago um, It comes from it's made by eBags. Um, you can also purchase it through Amazon um, It comes with the little batteries to put in as well. It's really nice. And this is how you work it here it just goes on the luggage, and then you just pick it up, and it tells you how much it weighs. So that helps prevent you going over that 50 pound weight limit at the airport, which we do quite often coming back from trips because we don't have anything to weigh our luggage on, and then it turns into a little... Yeah, hopefully this can avoid incredibly <laughs> embarrassing moments at the airport as <laughs> your, uh, your luggage is 52 pounds instead of 50. <laughs> And your wife has to sprawl everything you own out on the floor uh, in line just yeah. to, uh, to so, make the weight. So, next up, we have um, this is another great item these clear luggage tags. There was a time when we would just put laminate these with tape, our carnival tags here, and put on our luggage, but we found these handy items, which are becoming more common now. And you just stick your tag in there and hook them here, as you can see, hook them to your luggage here, and that way. They don't get damaged, lost, really easy. And I got, they, they're like, you get them in packs of some six, eight, ten, depending on where you purchase them. Mm -hmm. But they're only on like a dollar each or so. That's what it comes out to. Um, but they're really great. And yeah, these things, they're super been using handy. Them for several because when you when great. you print out the uh, the luggage tag at home, you know the idea is that this thing wraps around the luggage. But, you know, the first one or two times we yeah. use this, we were so worried this is going to rip or tear. Yeah. Like Sharon said, we're stapling yeah. it together. We're putting masking tape over top of it. Yeah. It's ridiculous. We don't want to be um, wrong with the lost And then we got luggage. smart. We got some of these, and they're totally handy. Right. So. All right, what do we got next? Oh, wait. It's my turn. I can talk about something that I'm <laughs> oh, very excited yeah. about. Okay. Got a new, new traveling backpack. So whenever we travel, Christmas. whenever we travel, one of, you know, each one of us is responsible for different things, and I'm responsible for electronics and um, also all the documents and the paperwork. And usually I just have an old backpack that I've used and it's just one big opening that everything gets lost in. So uh, this year I'm upgrading and we picked up this bag from, this one's from Swiss Gear. I'm sure there's a lot of different brands, but this one has to be from Swiss Gear. Um, so yeah, this one's- just through eBag so it is, you can purchase oh, it on eBag. Yeah, I think and it's- And Amazon as well. It's anywhere from, it's like 60 bucks, 70 bucks. It's not gonna break the bank, uh, but it's got tons of storage in it. Um, it's got a front pocket here. All right, it's also got additional area here for documents and things like that. It's got a mesh zip bag in front here for things that you need to see, but you don't want them to be flying around your bag. It's got kind of an accordion style storage and these have a little bit of padding in them. Um, it's got a spot here you can put your, basically put your phone or uh, any kind of little music device. Got the hole you can run your speakers in so you can listen to headphones while you're cruising through the airport or traveling or whatever the case is. Um, it's got the water uh, pouches on the side. Extra big storage on the side here as well. Um, it's got a half zip here and in it you can fit a 17 inch, up to a 17 inch laptop um, and it's padded. So that's pretty cool. Um, but one thing that I really like about this is if you're tired of going through the airport and having to always take everything out of your bag and put it in a, uh, a little container, this bad boy totally unfolds so that your laptop is separate over here. Oh, by the way, it's got a little tablet sleeve too. 
So if you have a tablet, you can put your tablet in there. And that's got some padding in it. But this thing opens up so you can lay it on the, uh, on the belt, put it through your luggage check, and you don't have to take everything out and put it back in again. So that's something that I'm really excited to use. That's That'll nice. save a lot of time. Yeah, when you're traveling with kids and things, you don't want to, you have enough things you're carrying oh, for God. them. Yeah. You don't want to have to take your backpack, all your stuff out, and put it on the mm -hmm. security This is great. It's got a strong uh, uh, grip right here. So um, having a good bag to carry all your important things in, um, your travel documents, electronics, this is going to come in uh, extremely handy for us. So I'm super excited about this. And speaking of electronics, oh, the next thing we got here. A great camera. We picked up a couple of, well, maybe a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. We needed a water camera for one of our trips. Yeah. We were gonna and I know and everyone has cameras and digital cameras and phones are great too. But the big thing we love about this is that it is a, uh, a water, waterproof camera. The Olympus Stylus. All right. And when we first got this thing, we were a little unsure of uh, if we were going to, you know, if we trusted it. So we took it, you know, we, we took it, we put it in water at the house, we tried to figure out what was going to make, Through you know, pool. oh yeah, the whole deal. <laughs> um, but what we did uh, is we added a little bit uh, of a hand or wrist sleeve, or an arm sleeve to it, um, and that way it'll float in the water, which comes in handy. Uh, this doesn't come with it, this is something that we added to it, okay, this piece here. And then the one thing that I like about this is, it, uh, these little spots will open up, as you can see. And then when you close it, where, uh, where you put in your SD card or your battery, it's got a little lock switch on it, which locks it so that now it won't open by accident. So that's one of the things that I really like about this. And the quality of these pictures is fantastic. But bring a waterproof yes. camera. You can take pictures in the pool, in the ocean. If you snorkel. You're snorkeling, you can use it as just well. Just out in the ocean, when, yeah, when you're just out there. Yeah. And again, you put this thing on your wrist so you don't lose it in the water. And then when it comes off, or if I need to throw this to Sharon so she can take a picture in the pool, um, it floats, and that way you won't lose it. Anyway. And it is called a tough for a reason because you are able to drop it and nothing breaks. And that has happened to us a couple of times. Got a little shock resistance to it. Yeah. So nice. And we also have, we had got this other one too at one time, but this one's it's a little bigger, <laughs> kind of big for me. It might fit a, a man, guy, but um, so that's why this Olympus one we got is actually adjustable, so it'll it'll fit on smaller rooms as well. But this comes in all different colors. This is a little bit older model. They do have a new model out now. It's a little more, but um, this one works great too. Yeah. It's a Waterproof camera. It's Key. the Olympus. It's the awesome tough. vacation pictures. It's great. It's one of the best cameras out there. Great reviews. Um, can't say enough about it. We've got some awesome pictures. Um, I think we it. have said enough about it. So let's move on to the next item. Okay. All right. So, let's packing cubes. I'm sure everyone's heard of packing cubes. Years ago, we, um, they probably weren't really around, but we, um, we never used packing cubes. Then, probably about, it was about a year ago, maybe, couple, no, it's probably what, been over a year. This? It's been over a year. A while ago. But um, a few cruises back anyways, we got these packing cubes through Carnival, or a, it was a platinum gift we got, and we were like, oh, we'll never use those. Oh, that's just like more stuff to put in there. But it was the, all three sizes, and they actually are pretty nice quality. Um, finally, a couple cruises ago, we decided to use them and found them to be very useful, very handy, and I just fell in love with them. So, since then, there were two sets here, so I let Jamie here and my, our, our son use those. So, I purchased some a little more female version ones for me. So, we or have a feminine? feminine. Will that word <laughs> help you out there? Yeah. Female so, version <laughs> or feminine, well, whatever you want to say. Female version, but. they're flowers. Anyways, so I purchased these. They're a little bit bigger than these, um, but we're going to try these out on our next cruise. And I'm a big fan of these packing cubes. Um, one great thing is you can pack maybe your stuff for the first day and just even throw these in your backpack. So if you want to change into a swimsuit when you get on the ship or you're staying in a hotel the night before and you want to put your outfit for embarkation the next day on here without having to get into your break into your big luggage and all that. You can put these in here and just put them on top yeah. or something. When you, so can really you can separate everything, your socks or your drawers, yeah. you want to keep them sa separate, or different types of shirts, t-shirt, long sleeve, short yeah. sleeve. Just a great way to separate items and then still put them in your, uh, your suitcase 
in a neat and organized fashion. And then necking cubes, let me just, I, we showed this once before in one of our other videos. It is, um, we purchased it at Carnival several years back because we bought too many souvenirs and we didn't have anything to bring them home in. So we purchased this and it, it is. This is going to be fun as you Yeah, I know. Which There's two of these zippers on it. You just open it up. It, we throw it in our luggage every time in case this happens again. It doesn't take up much room. It's very lightweight. But if we need it, we just open it up and it turns into like a nice duffel. It's pretty big, which it has these zippers here on the outside and some little pockets here. So it comes in, it can come in really handy. I mean, you can even use this just as like a carry-on if you wanted to as well or anything. Well, it comes in really but handy. we like it for the fact that we can shove it in there in case we need it later for anything. Then we can just bring it back on the plane with us and not have to pay for a whole other piece of luggage coming yeah. along as well. Yeah, because so. you always come home with more stuff than you leave with. Yeah. And so by having this in there, it's just an extra bag that you can not take up much room with on the way there yeah. and then on the way home. You know, we could pack our souvenirs in the suitcase where they're secure, and then all the just yeah. dirty laundry yeah, you or whatever you got, you're thing. throwing that and just carry it home with you, yeah. and uh, whatever you want to check it, you can check it, carry yeah. it on the on the plane, whatever you want to do with it. Yeah. All right, good deal. Okay, what's next? Um, all right, There's so one thing that we just got is uh, uh, something that we can plug everything into. Oh, so when you, get, items, yeah. when you get on the cruise ship, usually there's one plug, maybe a second one if you're lucky, you can find in the room. So um, for years we would take one of the, a little extension cord with us and that was kind of a hassle and uh, recently we saw this bad boy and it's, um, it's got a couple different plugs in it uh, for 12 volt items and then it also has a couple of spaces for USB connection as well. So, uh, so we grabbed this, this one's by Lewis and Clark um, uh, from the travel hours. collection, it's called the Gear Up and Go and uh, what this does is this will fold down for easy storage. You unfold this, plug this bad boy in the wall, and then again, it's got a plug here, and then one on each side for plugging in, and then it's got the USB ports for charging. So this one thing can handle charging all your electronics, uh, your phone, your GoPro, um, your video, your cameras, digital stuff, all that, and you can use this, and um, it's and compact and easy to carry. And you can also plug in all their hair dryers and curlers and all what? that stuff. <laughs> Get out of here with that. No, I mean, you can use it for anything you want to plug in. So this thing is super handy. So we're excited to use this. Um, another electronic thing that I like to bring, although sometimes it drives Sharon crazy, is my Bluetooth speaker. This one happens to be um, a, a UE Roll. You can get on a lot of websites. Amazon has it as well. I think this thing will go for roughly about 70, 80 bucks, uh, somewhere right in there. But I love this thing. It is Bluetooth connectivity, so you can uh, connect it to your phone. It'll work with Android or, or uh, iPhone stuff. And um, you can play all your music. You can use it right in the cabin on the cruise. You can use it in the bathroom while you're showering, getting ready. Um, uh, you can use it to drown out the sound of the neighbors. Can you show us a demonstration? Uh, demonstration. Well, hold on. One thing I really <laughs> like is it's got a, a bungee on it right here, so you can hang it up wherever you want. Um, uh, another thing that I really enjoy is on this particular one, uh, you can, probably can't hear it, but if I press these buttons here together, the plus and the minus sign, it'll tell me how much charge is left. This thing will go for like nine hours, so it's tremendous. So you put it there, you have it turned on, and you can just fire up some of your favorite tunes, and then you're a... Uh, did you just, it's like your theme song playing right there. That's ridiculous. All right, so anyway, so that thing comes in handy. So bring a little, uh, um, uh, little Bluetooth uh, speaker with you, and um, you can pass the time with that. Remember to keep it low. Don't bother the people close to you in the next cabin, but maybe you're just on the balcony in the middle of the yeah. day. You just want some quiet music going on or something like that. So that comes in handy. One other quick thing. I mentioned a bungee cord on this. Whenever we go on a cruise, we bring a real bungee cord. This thing comes in handy for all different things, but the best thing is to keep the balcony door open. I hook this on the one side of the balcony door, hook this somewhere else uh, outside, maybe on the separation between the cabins or something like that, 
And this helps us to keep the balcony door open one so that reason. we can hear the ocean yeah. and stuff like that. And one that. reason too. Another thing is when you're on the balcony, you can't hear anything in the cabin and vice versa. So oh, yeah. if you're trying to call the other person or if the door's shut, they can't hear you. So this kind of... Well, we started using it when, we, when our son Matthew was little because he'd be taking a nap in the room and we want to sit on the balcony and get some sun and have yeah. a... Um, maybe a beverage of an adult nature yeah. or something like that and listen to the ocean. So it's nice to be able to have the door open. Also at night, you're sleeping, you can have your door open, listen to the right. waves, the sounds yeah. of the ocean. That's nice. So that's pretty awesome Relaxing. too. Yeah, or if you're lucky, the guy next door will light up a cigar <laughs> and stink you out. I mean, you never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, but, you never know. But, uh, uh, but bungee cords, they come in handy. Yeah. Make sure you bring one or two. Don't leave home without your bungee, bungee cords. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, another oh. thing which we, Normally, don't. I notice a lot of people use these. We normally don't. I usually bring a couple extra, um, like kitchen garbage bags, for a couple reasons. One is I lay lay them in my luggage sometimes between my clothes because I I found that if you do that, your clothes wrinkle a lot less. Like you'll pull your clothes out and they just Ooh. have no wrinkle. So and then I oh, end up using those I once you. I'm. <laughs> then I end up using those just as my kind of dirty laundry bags once we're on the ship. So, but I did go ahead and purchase these. I know a lot of people use these little um, handy pop-up hampers. So I actually found these at the dollar store. I know you can buy them at like Walmart, Target, things like that as well. But I was like, well, for a dollar, I'll try this out. So we're gonna try this this time just for fun, see how it works. But so they're little pop-up hampers. You can stick them in the closet, put your dirty laundry in or whatever. And when you go, they're just in a little package like this. Very lightweight, throw them in your luggage. Hold on, so you're telling me this turns into this? That's right. That's amazing. And that's how I look at it is these were only a dollar, so if I need to get rid of a little extra weight coming home or whatever, you know, I'm not losing that. It's awesome. Chuck. Anyway, that so that person. this is the little pop-up hamper. Comes in handy. Some other fun things. Um, oh, these are our bulk eclipse. We purchased these are great for um, holding your towel in the lounge chair so they don't blow away. You can also use them for hanging things in the shower, on the little string that goes across, you have a wet swimsuit, or on, out on your balcony. And if you don't want to spend them, like these can run between anywhere from, I don't know, like six to twelve, thirteen dollars, unless you get them on sale. Those it's a regular price. They're kind of like name brand. But I found these as a substitution to at the dollar store. They're just little clips and you get like a pack of eight or 10 of these for a dollar. And these work actually just as well as these. They're just not as fancy, but that's a nice cheap substitution for someone that can't find these or just don't really want to spend the money on them as well. Well, so. and it's great for all the chair hogs. Yeah. If you're one of those chair hogs, you can go up and we're not chair hogs. We're against chair hogging for the record, <laughs> but, uh, but we'll get up, we'll go to the uh, Lido deck. Yeah. We'll find a couple good chairs, put our towel on it, put the towel on. You can go get our food. Grab some food, food real quick, food chair. back to the yeah. chair. But yeah, and again, Sharon mentioned, uh, uh, this is how we secure stuff on the balcony. If we're drying a bathing suit or something, and a little wind comes by, I don't want my suit to be flying into the right. ocean. So you can use these to, uh, to hook it. Oh, yeah. one other great thing that I just read about recently, you can use these as well. Take one of them or um, uh, any item like that that'll put together and you can put it at the bottom of the shower curtain oh, yeah. and that'll weigh down the bottom of the shower curtain so that it doesn't move um, and then stick to you because the showers on the on the cruise ship are notorious for being <laughs> small and a little uh, 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 airflow comes in and next thing you know that gross shower curtain <laughs> is like stuck to half of your body and it's just wrong yeah. so uh so weigh these down it'll keep them uh in the right spot so you won't get a lot of water flowing into the bathroom floor and uh, you won't be covered now in the shower Now I will curtain. say too, with that, these are, these dollar store ones, these are lightweight, yeah, those a lot are lighter weight than these. So these may not work for that, but these definitely will. These are a lot heavier weight. So with that, also another handy item to take is little flashlights. It's nice mm. to have a small one like this because they don't take up a lot of room. But you never know, you hear of things happening on cruise ships, maybe the power goes out or, or whatever, but you yeah. just don't want to be the one in the dark, left in the dark. So it's always good to have a couple of these, and we usually have a couple of our things. And also Jamie brings, sometimes he has one, that, one of those head 
Ted's lamp one. Oh, yeah. That he brings as well that um, we use. Haven't ever had to use them, but it's nice hey, to listen, have. After hearing about stuff that can happen on a ship, if they lose power for any reason, you know, yeah. people will be following us around since we'll have uh, flashlights. And another thing is a little travel alarm clock. We always use our cell phones, but we do have one, so I thought I would show it to you guys. This one's made by Sharp. You can get it anywhere. I think this was from Walmart or something. It's only, they're only like $5 or around the holidays. Um, but it's just a simple little travel one. It runs on batteries, so you don't oversleep yeah. and miss your shore excursion. Well, some, some <laughs> people like to take their phone and just file it away and yeah. have nothing to do with yeah. it. Yeah, so that um, comes in handy for that. And for us, we, you know, we just always put it on airplane mode. So there's no data charges because that'll kill you. Great yeah. reminder, always put your phone on airplane mode right. if you don't already know that. But even when it's on airplane mode, you can still connect to Wi-Fi on the ship if you want to use it uh, with the ship's Wi-Fi program. Yeah. You can connect to Bluetooth. Uh, you can have your phone you know, up and running and all that. So um, uh, so if you don't use your phone, yeah. bring a little alarm clock. Bring a little alarm clock. And this, we, um, we purchased these. Oh gosh, we got these. This is funny. Seasickness. We got these on our first cruise in 2002, I think. 2002. I believe you. Um, yeah, it was. Two, it was March of 2002, and we took a Mexican Riviera cruise, and that, they're known for having a little bit rougher seas at times, especially certain times of year. And it was rough the first night. I got so. It was our first cruise. I got so seasick, and so. We didn't have anything, we weren't prepared, we didn't have anything with us, so Jamie went to the gift shop and they had these. So we bought them and they're the little seasick bands you just wear. You put them on like this, the yeah. pressure point there, and they're supposed to help. I don't know if they really helped or it was in my, my imagination, but I felt like they did help. Um, or maybe well, yeah. the seas just got a little calmer. But it, and they, you use them after useful. that too. And to one other time I got seasick. I've only been seasick in all of our... 19 it'll be 19 cruises coming up here in march i've only been seasick twice that was the first time the second time was in like 2000 i think in three or 2004 when we went on the destiny um we went down to like the southern caribbean it was coming back in barbados it was really rocky really rocky even worse than this time and i got the, it was the very last last night i think and i got so seasick i mean I thought I was going to die. Anyways, well, so I lot, put these on and I just went people, to bed. And a lot of people take the medication the for it, or you'll see people on the ship with a little, uh, looks like a band aid yeah. on them uh, that's got uh, medicine and stuff on it. And sometimes that these makes things. you sleepy. Um, I don't know. I don't like to take stuff I don't. So far, that's worked for me a couple times, and yeah. I've been very lucky since. If you have a bad reaction to medication, so, those things are great. They put pressure on your wrist, mm -hmm. and somehow. And I'm for kids to try first too before giving them medication just to try something simple like this and see if it works although kids i've been told they don't they very rarely young kids get seasick um so which is a good thing and our son's never been seasick so well, that's great oh and that's another great thing don't forget to bring a little pack of wet wipes here like antibacterial wipes you to kind of wipe your room down we always when we first get to our room we usually, before we unpack, we kind of give it a quick wipe down. Even though they do clean the rooms before you get in, we just feel better knowing that we gave well, it one, get one last wipe down with our own little antibacterial wipe since we have our son with us too. And mm -hmm. you hear about people getting sick and norovirus and, virus, and yeah. gastrointestinal and, and, sickness and colds yes. and flu. Yes, and so far we've been very lucky. We have never gotten sick on a cruise. So. Knock on wood. Keep this up. Don't jinx yeah, it. I know. Yeah, so, so. so when we get there, we'll take those out. Hey. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, we'll take those out and uh, wipe down the door handles, the phone, yeah. um, the remote control, Remotes the TV. Remote and phones are the dirtiest things All that around. kind of stuff. So we'll do that with all of our uh, um, uh, items in, in the room. And that way we're one step ahead yeah. of uh, whatever sickness is rolling around in there. That's I got right. this. And oh, this I actually purchased for, we're going to be going on an Alaska cruise this May as well. And I purchased this because we live in Arizona. We don't, we very rarely buy clothes for the cold and, you know, we live in shorts cold. most, most of the year yeah. round. Anyways, so I purchased this because I thought it was kind of fun. It had anchors on it. It's this little scarf. 
So I thought this would come in handy for the cruise and be fun. Anyways, when I received it, I realized that you can use it for, and there's pictures online, which I didn't notice at the time. You can use it for all these different things. You can, so I'm, you can actually use it for your Caribbean cruises and your Mexican cruises, everything else as well. It turns into like a little swimsuit cover up like this. There's another way online or something where you can slash it across you. Somehow it makes another type of cover up. You can use it as a skirt, um, all different. There's like five different things you can do with this. It's great and it's huge. So is there anything really that I can do with it? Uh, well, you Maybe can wear it. <laughs> anyway, it's really cute. It was only like 11, 11.99, I think. Um, it's on through Amazon. I actually purchased this on. I have a, a little marketplace that carries items that goes directly through Amazon. This is one of the items they sell in there. It's can just, I take this off now? Yeah. <laughs> But and, and it's just really good and the quality is good. It's pretty thick. It's nice quality. So I'm glad I'll get a lot of uses out of that. It just won't be for my one Alaska cruise. We That's have great. Oh, oh, and we have, have those. We have um we usually bring these with us. Not but we used to use this. We haven't used in a few cruises, but we used to bring this one. We like bringing a toiletry bag that hangs on the door. It just saves some, some space. Um and we always brought this with us. Although a couple of years ago, we got these as another platinum gift, which actually we both got one, so it was nice. We have two, but it hangs up as well, opens up. It just has more of a space like this, but it has lots of slots and pockets and zippers on the sides in here and on the outside. And this is actually plenty big for us, and we ended up just liking these a lot better. They're just, um, I don't think, I don't know, I've never seen Carmel sell them. I think they were just the gift though, but. Something similar to this is really convenient. So we usually just take these now, but it's definitely worth having something that hangs over your door. It saves a lot of space because the bathrooms are small. Mm -hmm. And most of them have little, a couple little glass shelves in there for things, but if you put everything on the shelves, it, they probably wouldn't fit or you just have a big mess in the bathroom. And I like them because I just know where everything is. Yeah, and that way everything's out. We, yeah, we both can find things and it works out great. So like if I need a little Tylenol, because we're out late yeah, the night before. Oh, I know yeah. exactly where to uh, where to go for that. So um. one last thing, I can't wait to share this. I purchased. I haven't really worn this yet. I purchased this a few months back because there was this awesome sale on Scotty vests. Um, I've been seeing this online, reading reviews, and they they were just great. How great these things are, especially for cold weather, for like Alaska cruises and things. So I had to get one. Um, I ended up getting it like a 40% off sale or something, so I got it for like four, was it 49 or $59. It was really, um, really know. inexpensive for that because they're usually over 100 and some dollars. Plus, it was on clearance on top of it. It's a, a Chloe hoodie is what it's called. It's um, got, it, it's made for traveling. A lot of um, excursions, especially in Alaska, you're not able to take a backpack or a big purse or anything with you to put your things in because of weight limits and different things because there's a lot of active excursions there. So this has pockets everywhere for everything. You can fit, you could almost fit a laptop, but it does have room for a tablet, your phone. <clears throat> I forget, it has like 15 pockets or something. Pockets here, there, camera pockets. It's got special loops here for your um, earbuds. Or if you want, there's pockets on the outside. It's just like loaded with pockets. It's fuzzy and warm. And it's just comfy. So I can't wait to try this out. And the fun thing here. Where's the thing? This one actually I is really made for the cold because this is the one that you can zip your whole face into. <laughs> yeah, just make sure you don't get your hair in there. I know. That can be anyway, a little tricky. But this is great, so I cannot wait to wear this in May. That sounds weird, wearing this in May, a jacket in May, especially since we live in Arizona. Okay. But, but I got this just for the Alaska cruise, and I was hoping that maybe it'll get cold enough here in Arizona to wear it too once in a while, but I, I don't know, maybe. Maybe we can uh, wear it to the movies, and you can sneak candy in those pockets. <laughs> yeah, yeah mm -hmm. Always thinking, you gotta be thinking. The, anyway, One so more that, item that we always must bring on the cruise is... Oh yeah. 
Don't forget your wine, people. That's right. You can usually bring two bottles, one for adult, on most cruise lines. I know Carnival you can, so don't forget it. At least it'll save you a few bucks on some of your alcohol. Yes, there are size limitations, <laughs> and they are getting wise to different ways to sneak booze on. Yeah. So we are bring a little bit of wine. 750 milliliters is the size. You can't bring the big jugs on or anything. But um, so we always bring a couple of those, and they we they do have to come in your carry-on as well. So we usually put those in the backpack. Hey, I just thought of something great. Hold this thing. I got that wine. Oh my gosh. See how that works? I think that was just made for the wine. There's one on each side. Boom. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. All right, yeah. and so like Sharon mentioned earlier, um, she's got her website, Sharon at sea.com. It's her blog, and uh, there's a link on there to a travel shopping area. And if there's anything here that we talked about today, you can uh, go there, check it out. Um, you can purchase it there. It'll link you right to Amazon so you know it's all legitimate. And um, you can purchase those items um, and uh, have them with you for your next vacation. And uh, I think that's everything. So thank you. Thank you for watching. And I hope this was helpful. And be sure to check out SharonAtSea.com. Subscribe so you don't miss anything. We have a lot of upcoming videos and reviews coming up for the Carnival Vista that will be on in March. Oh, March yeah. 11th coming up. And we can't wait to get on that awesome ship. And so don't forget to subscribe. All so right. Don't miss anything. SharonAtSea.com. Thanks. Happy cruising. Happy cruising. <laughs>